People living on Radford Square West say that there was a black car involved in this incident came to a stop right here. It's unclear how the man was injured, but he did end up over here on this part of the street. One of the neighbors came rushing out of his house to help with CPR, and he was here until the paramedics arrived. I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew something was just horrific. It was a horrific sight that will haunt Jerry Hahn for years to come. And it all started with a loud noise, one that Jerry knew wasn't right. I heard the tires squealing, and you just get that feeling that, you know, and there's, there's kids throughout this neighborhood. And when I was back by that fence in my truck, I couldn't see down here, and I heard thump. The thump sent Jerry running. He was the first on scene of what police are calling a road rage assault and started CPR on his 55-year-old neighbor who later died at the hospital. Well, I know it was bad. That man and the 17-year-old who allegedly killed him have yet to be identified. Police have not specified exactly how the 55-year-old was killed, but Han is convinced he was struck and killed by the teen's car. This after what police say began as an altercation in the middle of the street. A family member of the victim tells MTN the victim had yelled at the teen to slow down. He screamed at the driver, slow down, but that's what we scream at him all the time. One is on the ground and the other ones looked like it was just, he was pounding the devil out of him. Police say the 17-year-old fled the scene after the assault, but returned a short time later. His car was known to many in the neighborhood. And they rev those engines up, you know how they do, so you can hear them a mile away. At 5 o'clock, we're sharing the same road, and he weaves in and out of traffic, and it's, he was an accident waiting to happen. Um, it's tragedy that it happened here. Police say there was no weapon involved and have not yet released any other information about the assault. Those who live here just know a tragedy occurred and the neighbor is now gone. He's a nice guy, he's a good neighbor. That's about all I can say. It really breaks me up. In Billings, David J, MTN News.